my favorite scents from Bath and Body Works this year, I would say, next to Dream Bright. Hey y'all, it's me Lauren, aka Loso Natural. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you aren't a current subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I promise you won't regret it. If you aren't familiar with who I am and what I talk about on my channel, I love talking about natural skincare, hygiene, fragrance, black owned businesses, and everything that feels good to my soul. So if I love it, I'm gonna talk to you about it because you might love it too. I have a fragrance related video for you all today and it is the fragrances I have in my collection that I will call clean girl fragrances to have you smelling fresh and clean. I had thought about doing this video recently and then i saw my girl hanging with yashika on youtube check her out doing her so fresh and so clean clean fragrances and i'm like i've been wanting to do it let me put it out I have a couple other fragrances in my collection that I'm not going to talk about today that I would consider kind of fresh and clean, but they aren't fragrances that I have really used a lot. They are just fragrances in my collection that I've smelled and not really put to use. Fragrances I probably will use more in the spring and summer. So I'm just going to focus on fragrances that I have used and really can talk to you all about. This is going to be a straightforward, kind of short and sweet type of video because my baby is asleep and I'm trying to optimize my time and get this video done as soon as possible and as clear as possible without any interruptions. So we're just going to hop into it. The first scent that I feel like is the epitome of fresh and clean. Fresh coconut and cotton, y'all. The fragrance notes are coconut, coastal breeze, and beachside cotton. This is fresh and clean. It smells like clean cotton with coconut. If you don't like coconut, you might not like this scent. If you don't like clean scents, you probably won't like this scent, but I love it. It does have this beach-esque seaside type of scent to it and I guess it's that coastal breeze so I feel like this is a great beach scent but if you want to smell fresh and clean whether it's day or night I love this scent I love this scent getting right out the shower especially at night when I'm winding down I love this scent and I'm not the biggest fan of coconut all the time but I love cotton scents so that's why i really like this scent like the coconut is cool i don't hate it but the cotton in this is very fresh and i highly recommend it if you want to smell fresh and clean okay the next scent is my favorite scent from bath and body works this year i would say next to dream bright this is definitely my favorite scent and it is pink suede y'all this has a berries note the fragrance notes are blush berries velvet peonies and soft cotton so it has berries and floral but it still smells clean i consider this a pretty cozy and clean scent i love this i could wear this every day this was a scent i was hoping to get a backup for during sas I saw body creams, but I did not see the fragrance mist. I love Pink Suede. I hope they bring it back, but they might not because I know Bath and Body Works is releasing new scents and there is a, don't quote me on it, I think it's like Sun Blooms and Suede or something like that. And I saw people commenting saying that they thought it was reminiscent of Pink Suede. So my girl might not come back. I hope she does though. I hope she comes back next fall. I love this scent. Fresh, clean, cozy, pretty, but 
you get the soft cotton and I love it now. If you want to elevate your fresh and clean scent, y'all, this was a fragrance combination that honestly might be my favorite layering combo from 2022 that y'all never saw. Like I never brought it to y'all. I was like exclusively going to do content on it, but never did it. So thank me later. Thank me now. Y'all, Pink suede and my pink cotton extract de parfum by dawkins aroma company which is a black owned business y'all this has fragrance notes of cotton candy cotton blossom has some citrus oh my god i love this scent mm, it smells like fresh cotton like fresh laundry the cotton blossom gives fresh laundry vibes plus extra sweetness from the cotton candy oh my god this honestly might be my favorite perfume not gonna lie not gonna lie i'm not gonna gatekeep either i love pink cotton and y'all can see i have a dent in it but i use it sparingly not like i can't get any more but the things that I love, I use sparingly because, you know, mama is on a budget. But, y'all, I absolutely wear this alone. It is absolutely standalone fragrance, standalone scent worthy. But, you pair it with pink suede, pink cotton and pink suede, y'all. The best, the absolute best layering combo I came up with in 2022 okay it's 2023 and I don't know if a layering combo can stop it okay and I'm not trying to over exaggerate y'all know I keep it real this is it this is it this is the one okay so I had to share it with y'all because they both have fresh clean scents but they just have a little bit of extra I'm not gonna say gourmand because it's not gourmand per se, it's more fresh and clean, but the sweetness is like the icing on the cake for us gourmand lovers that also like fresh and clean scents. This is a black owned business. Go check out Dawkins Aroma Company. They make original scents. This is an original scent. They also do inspiration scents for like Baccarat Rouge 540, Angel Share. They have inspiration scents for Grand Soir, which I have. I have a number of Dawkins Aroma Company scents. Go check out my Dawkins Aroma Company video if you're interested in seeing all the products I got during my first Dawkins Aroma haul. Go check them out. I highly recommend it and tell them I sent you. Okay, let's keep it moving. It's hard to move on from that combination, but up next is the category of fragrances I would consider perfumey clean scents. They aren't fresh cotton clean, but to me they are clean girl aesthetic worthy with the essence of perfume, but still clean, okay? Still clean. And up first is Life of the Party. Life of the Party does have a bubbly effervescence, like it has the fragrance notes of pink citrus, which I associate with like grapefruit. I feel like that could be the fragrance note, bubbly prosecco, jasmine, shimmering vanilla. When I'm looking at fragrance notes and kind of assessing what it smells like, The first sign to me that it might be a fresh scent leaning clean is a jasmine note. A lot of fresh clean aromas have the fragrance note of jasmine, whether you like it or you don't. I used to not be the biggest jasmine fan, but I do like clean scents which typically have jasmine in them. To me, this is sweet, fun, and clean. And it's also put together. It's fun and put together at the same time. But to me, it's clean girl aesthetic worthy. 
I've been using Life of the Party. I've mentioned it before, but I was using it with my Baby Magic Body Butter. And I was smelling fresh, clean, and pretty. The next scent, which is the last fragrance from Bath & Body Works, is Pure Wonder. This definitely has a perfume quality. The fragrance notes are Ice Rosé, Star Jasmine, and Warm White Amber. You get all of the notes, but you definitely get the Jasmine. And you get Amber, but it's that warm white Amber, okay? It's clean. It's clean. It has the floral essence and a bubbly, another like bubbly effervescent type note from the iced rosé, but it's clean, iced rosé. It doesn't just say rosé, it says iced rosé, okay? It's white amber, it's clean, okay? Look at the bottle. Clean girl aesthetic, okay? Especially in this one, this is the more clear, almost purple. To me, it's more clear than purple, but it's not as pink as the Pure Wonders that are out right now, but to me, this is clean girl aesthetic worthy, clean girl scent worthy. Y'all might not categorize that in y'all opinion as it being clean, but to me, it is. The last two fragrances I'm gonna talk about are perfume oils that are rollerballs. I got these from a local mall, a store that sells a plethora of different body oils, but y'all can probably find them at your local body oil shop. The first one is Lady Million. Lady Million definitely to me has an elevated clean scent to it. I love this. Before I had Life of the Party, I was using Lady Million with my Baby Magic Body Butter. And to me, I just smell put together and clean. Like, couldn't nobody tell me nothing. Lady Million is a scent that I definitely like by itself. But to me, it falls in that category. Lady Million by Paco Rabanne. And last but not least is Chance or Chance, however you want to pronounce it, by Chanel. To me, this has a fresh, clean scent. This is a little heavier on a citrus note or something, which to me is so clean. It's a little heavier than Lady Million, but I think both of these fragrances, Lady Million and Chanel Chance or Chance, fall in this category as well. And if you have another Clean Girl fragrance from Bath & Body Works or from your collection that you think is Clean Girl aesthetic worthy, drop it in the comments below. I wanna hear, what do you think is fresh and clean? Have you heard of Dawkins Aroma Company? Are you interested in trying pink cotton? If so, I highly recommend it. Y'all, I did what I set out to do. I finished this video without my baby crying in the background. I feel accomplished and can't nobody tell me nothing right now. But please comment your favorite clean girl aesthetic, fresh and clean scent below. Don't forget to subscribe to Hanging With Yashika's channel and let her know I sent you. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching. Love you guys.